Tu as menti, Franck Cavalier, ma femme m'est fidèle à ses. Sa femme qui était sur les remparts et qui lui est venu là-bas. Il est malade ou bien fâché, c'est une chose bien assurée. Au oh, maman, montre-lui son fils, ça lui réjouira l'esprit. Quel est mon fils, mon petit fils, que le nom vit dans les latines, que le donner à l'honneur la tire. Mais à l'enfant, je lui donne un nom, mais à la mère, je lui renonce. Mais à l'enfant, je lui donne un nom, mais à la mère, je lui renonce. La plus l'enfant parlait du pied sur le pavé, lui a battu. La plus l'enfant parlait du pied sur le pavé, lui a battu. La primaire par les cheveux, à son cheval lui attaché. La primaire par les cheveux, à son cheval lui attaché. La marché trois jours, trois nuits, sans regarder pas derrière lui. Au bout de trois jours et trois nuits, la regardait pas derrière lui. Now, <coughs> 
there is always was I know. All it all three the more cabine, all it all three bullet through body, all it all three the more cabine, all it all three bullet through body. Et la pardonnée, c'est tout de clé, les oiseaux en haut, la de trouver, la pardonnée, c'est tout de clé, les oiseaux en haut, la de trouver. Au moins, on s'en va, mais je lui reprendre les tripes, mais le corps enceint, au moins, on s'en va, mais je lui Reprendre les tripes, mais le corps enceint. Nani, mais le sein, il suffit qu'à part de mettre le corps enceint. Nani, mais le sein, il suffit qu'à part de mettre le corps enceint. Il prend si le drap blanc, bien habillé, tripes, ma sevelite. Il prend sa sein et crié de fil. Puis un drap blanc pour ma sevelite. Un mari en son, dame jolie, votre amour m'est-il pardonné. Oui, mon amour, vous êtes pardonné, non pas la celle du nouveau-né. Oh, mon Dieu, c'est le cavalier, si je le rencontre, je le tuera. Oh, mon Dieu, c'est le cavalier, si je le rencontre, je le tuera. Et puis, mais tu m'y dors qu'elle. The guy that lied to him about his wife. Yeah. <laughs> he should have waited. He should have asked questions before he blew up. There are four persons in this song. Marie Anson, le narrateur, the narrator, le cavalier, the cavalry soldier, and le mari, the husband. It seems that this story takes place over several months in order for all the events to pass in a logical, chronological order for the time period. It seems that the husband of Marie Anson, who may have been a knight, duke, or high-ranking officer in the military, was off to war for a period of time. He sends a cavalier, cavalry soldier, back home to check on his wife. The cavalier must hold a grudge against his superior and takes advantage of the situation to get even. When he arrives at the home of Marie Anson, he borrows her three golden rings and has a set made for himself by the local Lorfivier, goldsmith. He then returns the originals to Marie Anson, who must have been a very naive girl. The cavalier returns to his superior and tells him that Marie Anson is just fine, but that she has been unfaithful and slept with him. He then taunts the husband with the three golden rings. At first, the husband doesn't believe the cavalier, but soon begins doubting his wife's fidelity and can think of nothing else. He eventually has to go back home to check on her himself. The journey may have taken several weeks, and by the time he arrives there, he is insane with jealousy. Marie Anson, standing on the ramparts of her home, castle, chateau, can tell that he is really upset. The narrator who may have been her mother, mother-in-law, or a lady-in-waiting, tells her to show the child to the angry husband to calm him down. This doesn't work, and he grabs the child by the two feet and slams its head on the stone stoop in front of the door. This is a very complicated story, and I am not sure if the child is too young to have been conceived by the husband before he left for the war, or if he is just too angry to ask questions and do his math. After killing the child, he ties Marie Anson by her hair to the tail of his horse and drags her for three days and nights without looking behind him. There was blood everywhere. He finally cools down and decides to stop and ask questions, but by then it is too late. When he asks where her three golden rings are, she tells him to go and look in her cabinet, and sure enough, he finds them there. He then asks what he can do to help her. She replies that nothing can help her now, so wrap me in a white burial shroud and sew it shut. He asks for her forgiveness, which she gives, but she refuses to forgive him for the death of the newly born male child. 
He then realizes that the Cavalier has played a cruel hoax on him and swears he will kill him. Written by Kent Bone, July 25th, 1999. Narrated by Adam Polakaitis.